Well, it's a, it is a long story, That's but okay. I'm going to cut to the chase. No, um, for me, you know, growing up in a, in a Catholic family and, you know, being your typical Catholic, go to go to mass and, you know, all those things. And then when I became a Christian in 2007, how much more I learned about what was going on. But through the whole thing, at times when it was tested was, you know, going to four Super Bowls and not winning those. And... Uh, uh, having a son born on my birthday and how excited I was about, you know, that and then having him diagnosed with a fatal genetic disease and and just the roller coaster ride I've been on up and down, up and down and really came to a point in my life where I was at my lowest after my son passed away and uh, really knowing, okay, what am I going to do and being lost and then finally understanding what it was all about that I needed the Lord in my life and then having going through my cancer, cancer battle. Uh, how you sometimes do question God. Okay, why all these things are happening to me uh, through my whole, from neck surgery, back surgery, uh, cancer, and all the things that's went on in my life. Um, you do come to a point where you do start questioning it. But then I understand and I started realizing after talking with my wife in detail about it that I needed God in my life. I needed to continue to pray. Bottom line is we all get thrown to our knees, and uh, I was a few times over, but I understand that I am here for a reason. I am a chosen father with a little boy named Hunter that through all of our experiences, uh, we've been able to make a difference. Well, my, my personality is pretty much the same, except my heart's different. I, I know the mistakes I've made in the past. I know what the Lord has planned for me down the road. Um, but I just take one day at a time, and I really do. And I, I just am very blessed to have a, a wife that is our, our faith leader at, at home. Uh, I don't speak Christianese, but uh, I learn a lot from her. I learn a lot from my daughters. And I humble myself enough to know that I don't know everything. And I'm not the toughest guy in the world. But I continue to, to push on, and if I can make a difference for others, whether it's through my faith or through my walk of, of fighting and never giving up, then I know uh, the purpose I serve right here now. Oh, we wouldn't be where we're at if it wasn't for our faith because at early on we were all lost. We weren't sure uh, where we were going. Uh, our marriage wasn't going very well. Uh, we needed that in our life. My wife came to Christianity way before I did. Uh, it took me a while. I know it's God's perfect timing and all of it, but uh, I know where I'm at now and I'm happy with that. Well, I've always believed in God, number one, um, but my faith was strengthened by our weaknesses, by the suffering of my son, the suffering that I went through. We have to look to somebody to strengthen not only what's in our minds, but what's in our heart. Um, you, I truly believe, I know where I'm going. I truly believe that one day I will be uh, uh, walking alongside my son and you know, everybody has different feelings. My feeling is, and I know how, what I believe in, I know what my heart believes in, I know where I'm going, and I'm going with a smile on my face. Very good, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you.